Welcome back guys to Super Paper Mario and Luigi, our newest compatriot after rescue him in the depths of hell, or more to the point, the underwear. You should not go there, don't go in the underwear, but is there any special treasure hidden down here? Well, that is what I was wondering, but no, it seems there is not, not a single treasure to be found. So Luigi, with that said, it's time for you supposedly, because of your super specially jump. That was quite immense. Too bad you can't learn the flipping power as well, to be honest. Right, so down there, not so good. We need to flip, so we need to switch back to Mario already. Wow, Luigi, you were useful. This game should not be so Mario-centric. It should have more Luigi. It should have more bow much more Bowser, like tons more Bowser would be good. And a bit more Peach, even though we just did more or less a whole chapter with Peach. Let's get swimming all the way back. Because now, if I had to say anything, with Luigi's jumping ability, we now have a way to reach the mysterious figure. She who I think might be Love Bee. Let me through the hole. You can't really go at speed at a time like this, can you? Not a single pixel in sight. It'd be nice if we could hurry it up. No, there is no fast moving in the water. There is no Bowser at the moment either. To make sure that we can burn away any of our evil foes. Which more to the point, we know that the dry bones that were invincible that we've seen lately, they have an incredible dislike of fire, do they not? That'll be interesting. Excuse me, let me pass. Don't try to grab me, it's very rude. I'm still trying, so 3D away! I wonder if there's any other kind of treasure or something at the bottom of here. But we need to get away from that quite fast. Nothing coming from that bubble? No. There's monsters all the way up. Let's get moving. Out of the way, hand, don't you chase me. I like you hands a lot better when you're just grounded. Actually, I don't like you at all. But that's not the point. I have to kind of, like, prefer you in some state, don't I? And up and out we go. Why did I have to pay four coins, in fact? Why did I have to pay four coins indeed? Right, time to shine here, Luigi. Whoa, can you jump that high normally? I was realizing that. Right, we can jump normally over the pipes. If, as long as we got some speed towards us, we can make it. That's crazy. Luigi, you're amazing. Oh, isn't this... Isn't this where we met her? Was it this pipe? No, is this pipe? No. It's the next... Where, where, where has she gone? I can't go down any of the pipes, so I just keep charging up for my super jump. But all that being said, what is up there? Oh, I, I just cleared it. Ah, it's a fire. I don't want to go that far. There we go, I made it. Right, no way down that one. Oh, there's a way down that one, but there's definitely an upper part to this place. Which is highly interesting, and... Apart from that, a switch. Right, so we can bring that back down again, that's all good. What do I do about this? Just keep heading down? Are you nothing whatsoever? Okay, we've kind of... Ah! More enemies just appear? You like some kind of weird farming chamber where enemies appear and I can level up using you? It looks to be the case. And I'm messing up, messing up my stylishes here. I'm obviously not shaking enough. The problem is though, if you shake a, c a control stick up and down with a microphone that's on that flat, if you know what I mean, next to the table that you're recording on, things can shake and sounds can transmit. So you want to do it as daintily as possible. Well, you might be there, sir, but I'm just going to just... Bla oh, that wasn't so good. Don't you reappear. Good. Right, apart from that, I just destroyed the block that could enable me access over. I think the main point here was that I was supposed to just use Mario. Walk on by! Ooh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe... Or well, maybe we do. This is confusing in itself. Right. 
Do I need to use Luigi once more to get past these things? It seems they go away. Oh no, it's into the spike! Oh, don't. Ah, oh, you put me over the other side. How rude. Don't you dare come out now. I gotta land there, and then I gotta jump that. Oh, poison gas! And that cures poison on top of everything, so it's time to quickly get rid of my long last shake and just eat this dry shroom for 1 HP here so I can remove the poison, get my long last shake back, and bounce! Bounce! Do I think I want to land on this one? Oh, maybe not. Oh, so we can... Ooh! Interesting, we can use his form to glide us over to areas as well. Not bad. So we use it carefully enough. Ah, oh, I fell down again. Trying to freeze me, are you, sir? Well, I'll just get this coin block. This coin flower. And, uh... Make my way over at high speed. I'm missing all the coins, but oh well. What can you do? I'm wondering what or if have we missed stuff. But then, of course, if I swoop bit slow down. If I switch, well, no, I didn't come out into the middle of nowhere. Always a good thing, you know? Always a good thing. There's another pipe up on high here. And there were pipes in the background as well, so I'm interested in what they were and how to get there. But obviously, I've got to use some of the piranha pile. The uh, flowers kind of pipes to get through, but do me do me do I recognize oh, oh. Look guys, if you're just all gonna be in a line like that I'm just gonna go straight past you. Sorry about that, but it just made sense. Oh hurry, hasten to me, sweet prince! Found us an aging man of mustache grim returneth! Talk not to me as though we have met. Speak now, what dost thou want of me? Thou came hither to find me? Ha! As if I would consort with a face up ahead. My, my, my face isn't going to be good enough for you then. How is a handsome prince, understand? Princes only! Oh, but hold a moment. Ha ha! Dost thou claim to be the prince for whom I pine? Priceless, yeah, verily. Very well then, good prince. Let us confirm thy lineage. If thou art my prince, then surely thou knowest my name. Speak it to mine ears. If thy name is true, then I shall admit thou art mine, one and only. Well, we know you'll love me, but I kind of want to do this with Luigi and get Luigi a girl, but oh well. Haha, <laughs> in my face, my name is not love. What? <laughs> How hast thou come by the knowledge of my name? No, doth this mean? Nay, nay, such foulness! The very thought cannot be abided! I cannot date a man so old and unpleasant to the eye! I shall return to mother! Gag! She's not very happy with that revelation, is she? Not at all. But, does your warp pipe hold any shortcut quickness? The answer to that is obviously no. Well, let's make it back through the way we came. All you piranhas, you can do what you like. Some of these not piranha-y, but oh well, we're not using them to get anywhere, that's for sure. It'd be so useful to have Tippy on our side and be able to scan this or that. So apart from that, oh, don't fall into the nether. We'd like you to keep you... Well, we'll just fall anyway. Well, that is the quickest way back. We missed the pipes on the way. Lost a little bit of HP, but I'm, I'm quite okay with how that's worked out, to be honest. Maybe we don't need to do those pipes yet. Maybe we'll be sent out for another errand. You never know. Apart from that, let's make it across. Let no hands be grabbing us. And let no guy be forcing us to pay four coins. Most importantly that. Not that we've used our coins for really anything apart from making warp pipes. We are the national, like, warp pipe association. We just make warp pipes over the world. Really is the case of how these warp pipes came to be. Will there be a prequel one day? When Mario and Luigi make all the pipes, you never know. Ha! Alas, thou appearest, foul hairy creatures! Thou art no princess, thou art liars! Thou approachest me at my mother's behest! Love me, mind your manners! Who knows, this all happened because you wandered off without permission. Now apologize to these nice men at once. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry. But thou art so hairy! Zing! 
Oh, love me. Cat is also very worried. That's an apology. Mario, please accept this as a sign of my eternal thanks. Here. A purely pure heart? Purified? You got the revitalized pure heart. I have power over life and death, you see. And I was able to use that power to restore this pure heart. I know not how you found it, but this pure heart shows that fate is on your side. Take good care of it. And by the way, it may please you to know that your game is not truly over. Somehow you were sent to the underwear while still very much alive. My power can return you to your world if you so wish. What would you like to do? Well, questions, questions. Would I like to be alive in the real world again, or would I like to be in the version of purgatory or hell? Hmm, I wonder. And I shall return you, though we're leaving Bowser and Peach behind. Hmm. Jadies, Jadies, Jadies! Ooh, game over, game over, game over, game over, game over, game over! Continue! Press start. And the star takes us away. I was wondering if it was a warp that was going to suck us in then, but no. We're just appearing back in the real world. But Peach and Bowser, where are they? I think we forgot someone. Some someones. Mario, you're alive! M -m 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 Mario! But I sort of meant to end your game! And Timmy said you were here, so I thought I'd come and take a look, but... Wow, you're truly alive! You know my bro always bounces back like me! I bounce too! Uh, and you are? Really? Really, Tippy? I know you have a problem remembering people you've met. We can introduce ourselves later. For now, let's head to my house. Oh no, I forgot my regal voice. Terrible. What will thou do without it? So that's how you did it then. Hi. So hey, I'm Luigi. I'm my bro's bro. Nice to meet you. Nice introduction, bro's bro. Haven't we met somewhere before? Hmm. Isn't that like an inferiority complex, referring to yourself as your bro's bro rather than I'm Luigi? That's it. Oh boy, not that I remember, but... Wait, is it possible that you're our fourth hero? Funny you should say that. I just found this interesting bit in the light prognosticus. The seventh lost pure heart will draw together two men. And when the light returns, its brilliance will show the way to the last hero. Yes, as Tippy said, I think this fellow in green may be our final hero. Mario, I never stopped believing you would return. Princess Peach and Bowser. How to proceed? Well, if you could come back, perhaps Peach and Bowser also can. But first, let's find a heart pillow where we can set this pure heart. Yeah. Indeed, it seems a new mission has been given. Oh, to do that, wouldn't we have to move over to the flippity floppity side of them all? Thanks to this wonderful magical warp, we can get anywhere we need to be. Though that's the wrong warp, that's the one on the left hand side, Sam. We want the one on the far right hand side, which we ascertained only a few episodes ago. Sam, what are you doing? What's with your brain? I think we all know by now it turns to mush from time to time. From time to time to time to time. Let us dash over to Flopside at last. Now let's check out a few more of the buildings on the way because as I've heard from you guys in the comments, I can do a side quest now or I could have done it at the start of the chapter. Ah, it's Millie's House of Charms, Flopside Branch, by my arms. Feel surprised, don't be, I was worried for you. Jeez, so I moved here, hee <laughs> hee. If you have a charm of mine, life will surely be so fine, whether it is rain or shine. Let me ask you this though, want a charm before you go? Sure. Charm packages vary now, in extra goodness I allow, you will have to say wow. Choose, you can't lose. Let's just take the special package, whatever that is. <laughs> Thank you, really and truly. Here we go. Wee! Nintendo. Ah! Ah! Sparkling sun up in the sky. Shine fortune on these guys. Kiai! Yes. 
Charming is now complete. You're set to go compete. When that charm wears out, come back for another bout. I'm sure, madame, but isn't there something you can... What, we can do for you? Ah, oh, you have fine timing. My blood pressure's climbing. See, I was hoping maybe for you to do me a big favor. Can you, I implore? Only if it's a small one. Because, really, I'm busy now. I should have put that. I mean, Bowser and Peach are in purgatory type place. Not good. Ah, thank you, thank you, true. I knew I could count on you. During my confusing move, I lost my crystal ball so smooth. I use a replacement now, but it feels wrong somehow. I believe that Mer Lovely uses the same type of ball as me. Would you go to her and ask for one of her crystal balls real fast? You know where Mer Lovely is, right? Where the outskirts of Flipside are in sight? Thank you, thank you, true. No problem, madame. We know exactly where she be. Loud off. And all those old English phrase. Well, to be honest, we're just a warp pipe away. Errand complete. Hello. <laughs> I've been waiting, heroes. You want to ask me about a crystal ball? I do. There is nothing to fear. I'm a lovely. It is my job to know the future. Yes, yes it is. Merely sent you, did she not? Yes, I have readied the ball. Please take it. Or I'd like to say that, but there's something I must first ask of you. I know I do not look like it, but I'm in training. I told someone about it and they said that they had some useful equipment. I have been so busy that I haven't had a chance to pick it up yet. The kind fellow who offered me the equipment is the Flip Wizard, Bestovius. He would really help me out if you would agree to... <laughs> would you agree to go to his house and pick it up? What's wrong with you? If you do that, then I will give you this crystal ball. Do you hate this guy? Pistovius' house is beyond Flipside's Tower's Red Door on Lineland Road. Thanks for your assistance. Well, I'm sure we need to head out straight away. And the best way to do that is to return pipe it all the way up. In fact, I'll meet you guys there where the power of editing comes into effect. So we make it to Pistovius' house in no time at all. After all, it is at the start of Chapter 1-1. Very, very start where we first learned to flip. But, sir, we want something else from you. That's indeed for sure. Hi, hero. What need have you of the blindingly brilliant Bustovius? Ah, should have come for the training machine in place of my lovely. Hmm, yes, of course, I know of such a machine. Normally, I would never allow you to bask in the splendor of my knowledge, but you are a hero. Now then, hero, I have a favor to ask of you. I have lent some, something to the mayor of your town. Watch it. She must retrieve it for me. I have asked for it back many times. But old watcher must treasure it, for he has never returned it. Retrieve it for me, Pastovius, and I shall grant you your trading machine. Simply ask him for the you-know-what. He will understand. Now be gone. So, trading sequence continues. Off to watch it in your town next. So we come to Old Man Watch It! Let's find out if we can get the you know what! Well, it's you! Watch it! I should look for you! Need you to do something! What? You watch it! Don't you give me that not again look! Dumplings! You listen to me now, you hear? I hope those ears before I box them! So here's the thing! This strange lady showed up in my dreams and talked on and on about something! I don't know what it was, but she needed help with something! Watch it! Yep, this is what she looked like. I think we've met her. The end of the chapter, in fact. I don't know what her deal is, but she needs to get out of my dreams. Watch it! So get off my rug and help her out. Maybe then she'll quit flapping her lip. If you put a sock in a trap, I'll give you whatever you want. Watch it! But that means that we have to complete the whole thing? Oh, and I almost forgot. I gotta give you this. That's, that's this piece of paper. Is that the you-know-what? A piece of paper and look for someone to sign it. Sure. She's been in my dream so long, I guess I've become a fan of sorts, I'm sure. So go get her to sign this, then you know what you can do? Watch it! You can yes it! <laughs> I guess, sir. I guessed. So, let's head all the way to the end of the chapter, for the next part of this crazy, crazy journey. So, with no big flying dragon robot boss in our way, we made it straight to the Star Chamber, no problem. However, Merle Mina has noticed our presence straight off the bat. Ha, ah, heroes, you've come to me. It is I, Merlumina. 
It's a pleasure to meet you again, hero. What? What am I still doing here? I slept here for 1,500 years waiting to give you the pure heart. Having done that, I decided I might enjoy a quick nap. But I couldn't sleep. Perhaps it was because I had just slept so long. But even after I sat in bed and read for a bit, I still wasn't sleepy. If this keeps up, I thought I'll be reduced to a mere phantom in this world. So I tried counting sheep, but even counting a hundred thousand sheep didn't work. Then I became frustrated with myself for not being able to sleep. So I thought why not send out my frustration to someone telepathically. I figured the message would reach someone in a nearby town with ancient blood. I used to do it all the time when I was single and wanted to meet people. Ha <laughs> I was a wild gal back then, throwing caution and my heart to the wind. One day my mind message reached three different men. From that day on, my heart was a tossing ship on a tempest of love. Yes, she really is going on. So as I was saying, I just couldn't get to sleep at all. Seems I can. Hey, are you sleeping? It's kind of super rude to do at that moment. People are suffering from a severe lack of sleep here. Doesn't that tug at your heart? People in this millennium have no sense of compassion. Ah, back to what I was saying. I was trying to vent some of my frustration with some telepathic pranks. But the person receiving the telepathy was hard of hearing, so it barely worked. That only made me more sad. But it helped me to realize something else. Maybe I couldn't sleep because I was sad. And then I realized that since childhood, I always fell asleep to lullabies. My mum was always there when I slept as a child. She'd hold my hand and sing me sweet songs. It's happening again! Of course, once I moved out, I needed someone else to sing them to me. I was quite popular back then, I should tell you. I finally found four men who met my standards for lullaby singing. And from that day on, my life was awash in a whirling pool of love songs. I had four men singing to me, and when I... there was... So I decided to, but all we could, when the... So, but then, and I said... However... Yes, indeed. Asleep again, and that's when dozens of people thronged to this place to say their last farewells. And their voices were the lullaby that put me to sleep for 1,500 years. But now nobody is here. I'm all alone. I can't get to sleep. It's so lonely. It's just terrible. I can't stand it. And you're sleeping again. I can't believe you, honestly. I'm wringing my heart out to you. And you, you just... Oof. Huh? All this talking is making me a little drowsy. And since you've been here, I haven't felt so lonely. Maybe I can get back to sleep now. Is that your plan all along? Obviously. Brilliant thinking! Drifting off, we need to get an autograph by the look of it. Oh yes, I'm feeling cozy now. I think I can get to sleep. Thank you, hero. Now I can get back to... sleep. But I... I... No, 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 you can't sleep yet. What is it? Why are you bothering me now that I'm finally getting back to sleep? Huh? An autograph? Why certainly! Just give me that paper there! You gave her the paper! Now then! You're always in my heart, sign the Fantabulous Mulumina. I'm done! Oh, and let's put a little kiss on the end here. Mwah. There we go! How's that? We got ourselves an autograph, and I have to take it back to Old Man and watch it! So we're all settled then! Good to hear! And thank you, hero! I will return to the sweet embrace of dreams! Good night! Please take good care of this world. Good night. So with Melamina going to sleep, we continue on with this trading quest. But time is up for this episode. So join me for more Super Paid Mario next time as we head back along the way we came with the power of editing. Bye-bye.